This is the Cocoa Pebbles cereal ice cream. This is what it looks like. I'll be eating this. It's kind of already melted out. I have already some of it scooped up right here. Here's what it looks like. I ate some of it and rate this. Good flavoring. Mm. Tastes like any chocolate or vanilla type ice cream. Very good. It has chocolate pieces, kind of like chocolate chips, things like that. It's overall a pretty good ice cream. I wish it was just only chocolate, just because this cereal's majority of chocolate has no vanilla in it. But the vanilla could be the milk as well, so that could be a reason why. Comment down below if you've had this ice cream before. I would say it's probably a 9.8 out of 10. It's pretty good. They also have a Lucky Charms one and a Cinnamon Toast Crunch one. Comment below if you want me to see. Try that next time too. Honestly, overall, great flavoring. I always said chocolate had more stronger flavors. It really gets overtaken by the vanilla. The chocolate chips are honestly overall good as well. I haven't really seen that many, too many people buy this in general. When you go to the store, it's usually like in the very back, really, not really. And usually people just buy the regular kind chocolate ice cream of a certain brand. This one didn't seem to have too, have too many people wanting to buy it. Honestly, I've been kind of eat this ice cream a bit fast. It's already already kind of melting. Kind of took me a while to set up this video, so. I would say this ice cream is probably better than a lot of them. I think it's better than the Dryer's chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream. It's pretty good. I'd say the only ice cream I really like more than this is the Tillamook chocolate ice cream or the Tillamook brand in general. I feel like those ice creams a lot better than this one, but this is honestly a very all, overall a good, very good ice cream. Honestly, the Lucky Charms one would probably be a lot better, I think. But it's because you have the marshmallow pieces you can put in there as well. Honestly, that would add the flavor. The Cinnamon and Toast Crunch, I don't think one, that one would be that good. I haven't seen too many more. They might have a Cocoa Puffs one. Who knows, but... Honestly, comment down below if you want me to see, try another one. I think there was another one at the store, but I didn't get it. So, comment down below on which one you want me to get next. Comment down below your favorite ice cream flavor and in general. I think the most popular ice cream flavor is usually like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry I think up there as well. Neapolitan I think too. Honestly, the only complaint I have is I wish this would have been a newer pint. It felt like the one with kind of a freezer burn on it, so 
Oh, so that's the only complaint really I have, but besides that, it's very good ice cream. And you should definitely try this. The Super Bowl was yesterday, honestly, great Super Bowl, one of the best of all time. Great halftime performance, honestly, very good as well. Entertaining game, 23-20, to 20, honestly, a great game. Halftime show, great. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, honestly, a good halftime show. And probably one of the best since I've been alive. And, honestly, Cooper Cup winning the MVP, a lot of people are mad about that. I don't know, I think Aaron Donald should have won it. With it's two and a half sacks. Honestly, he should have been up there for consideration. I think he had a very good chance of winning it as well. And in my opinion, it's him and Lawrence Taylor. Tied at number one right now for the greatest defensive player. Not only can put him above or behind anyone else, so I think they're tied at number one right now. You know, honestly, it was an overall great Super Bowl to watch. I expect the Rams to win that game. And they honestly didn't disappoint. And the main look back is the Bengals need to just draft an offensive line for their first couple of picks. And really find out how to utilize them better and defend. Because Joe Burrow is going to be very injury prone if he keeps getting hit like he did. He had seven sacks in last, last night's game. So, honestly... They need to find another way around that. And it goes back to, I don't know, I think that's probably the best option. I don't know if the coach is active either, Zach Taylor. And some people say kid criticizing coaching, but Right now, the majority of the problem lies on the offensive line. The defense played pretty okay against the Rams, but they could have maybe played better. Comment down below your opinion on this game. A lot of people making bets on prop bets on the game. What graduated f flavor would be poured on the coach? I think the bet was blue, or blue one, and it was like blue, red, and orange. Pretty much every Gatorade flavor you can think of, and water. And honestly, there's another one, the National Anthem. Would it go over a minute and 30, which it did. People also won that bet, and I think there's a bet on engagement, which there was a Rams player who did get engaged after the game. So whoever bet on that also won that bet as well. And that mattress mat guy lost to bet nine million. And only would have won sixteen million if he would have won. He should have done another parlay with it. To maybe win more. Or maybe we should bet the Rams. The chocolate pieces in here do taste, it tastes like nuts in general. I feel like if they added that flavor, it tastes pretty good. And I don't know, the chocolate chip flavoring is just really good. Honestly, that's an ice cream. Honestly, very good. And 
I just started watching this new show, Daybreak. I think it's a show. I think it's based off some sort of comic book. It's pretty good so far and when I think about it. It's like apocalypse type show about this character named Josh trying to find, I don't know, some girl who's dating or something like that. And honestly, the plot's been pretty good. It's about the, some sort of apocalypse with people. It's kind of hard to explain, but honestly, it's a good show. I recommend watching it. And also, the Cocoa Pebbles... Ice cream is honestly really good. I recommend you try this. Next time I might try the Lucky Charms one, but my final review for this is 9.9 out of 10, and I think that's a medium rating. Comment down below your opinion on this, and what what do you think I should try next?